Hello students, I am Sumulata. In today's class, I am going to explain about how elements are going to be classified into blocks in the periodic table. This is most important question for your IP and also uh, all these important points useful for doing your objective also. So that just, uh, just try to listen carefully and uh, just try to note each and every point in your notebook or else you can take screenshot. Then we will go to start our class. Before starting, I am going to ask you one thing and nothing but you can take it as a request if you feel useful and informative please do subscribe share these videos to your known people mention your words in comment box um, and try to watch complete video okay then we can start today's class based on differentiating electron see you can write like this based on f block my dears okay f block Okay, based on the differentiating electron enters into the atomic orbitals or subshells. Okay, the elements present in the periodic table can be classified into four blocks. Those are S block, P block, D block and F block. Okay, so you can see individual block. First one is S block. S block. Okay, yes. Here this S block present extremely left side of the periodic table. Okay present okay uh, which elements are comes under this s block listen the differentiating electron the differentiating electron enters into enters into yes subshell yes sub shell so though all those elements comes under as s block elements then those are comes under as s block elements i am not writing you can add that sentence okay um yes in s block two groups two groups are present present first one is first one is one year first year group are known as alkali metals alkali metals these are also known as alkali metals second 2a group elements these are alkaline alkaline earth metals okay these two groups are comes under as s block elements okay these are all metals these are all metals and most electro positive nature these are all most electro positive metals you can also write okay electro positive nature okay electro positive nature see here i am writing its general electronic configuration another point i am writing here okay its general electronic configuration is ns122 is the general electronic configuration this is also important point okay this is first point you can write present left side of the periodic table the differentiating electron enters into the s subshell or s orbital all those elements comes under as a s block okay so the general electronic configuration for s block elements is ns122 nothing but for group one elements for group one elements the outer shell electronic configuration is the ns1 okay for group two the outer shell electronic configuration is the ns2 that's what i said you ns122 understand yes the next one is two groups are present those two groups are first a and second a group first a group elements are known as alkali metals and second a group elements are known as the alkaline earth metals okay yes you can see next one these are all mostly electro positive in nature and all are metals okay this is about s block elements you can you just note all these points then we will move to next p block okay or else you can take screenshot yeah second one is p block you can see second one p block how can you identify p block elements see if you see periodic table extreme right side of the periodic table is a p block 
P block present the differentiating electron enters into enters into P subshell R P orbital. Understand P subshell R P orbital. In general outer electronic configuration configuration is ns2 np126 ns2 np126 okay yes the next one you can see next one after that generally uh, here from group 6 to uh, nothing but you can write group 13 okay group 13 to 18 group 13 to group 18 elements belongs to belongs to p block means means total six groups okay total six groups present in p block understand total six groups present in p block yes next one these are all these are all maybe metals metals metalloids and non metals okay metals metalloids and non metals this is about p block nothing but p block uh, present extremely right side of the periodic table you just underline it and then the differentiating electron enters into p subshell okay yes then its general electronic configuration is ns2 np1 to 6 because if you take group 13 elements ns2 np1 group 14 ns2 np2 group uh, 15 ns2 np3 group 16 ns2 uh, np4 then after 17 ns2 np5 for 18 ns2 np6 okay yes no need to write uh, all those things here if you want you can write if you have time in your examination you can also write for better uh, uh, score okay yes the next one is from group 13 to 18 elements belongs to p block okay means total six groups are there in p block total six groups are there in p block all these elements may be metals metalloids are non metals okay this is about a p block you just write or else you can take screenshot then we will move to d block the next one is d block my dears d block okay this is the d block here the differentiating electron the differentiating electron enters into enters into d subshell d subshell o r r penultimate shell penultimate shell okay penultimate shell okay next one general electronic general electronic configuration is n minus 1 into d n minus 1 into d 1 to 10 and also ns1 to 2 okay you just write this one and here um, d block d block placed in periodic table in periodic table between between s block and p block okay s block and p block d block placed between uh, s block and p block in the periodic table here these are all uh, typical metals okay typical metals 
So you can write like this. These are all. These are all hard metals. Hard metals and exhibit variable variable oxidation exhibit variable exhibit or exhibits variable oxidation states and color property or various colors they are going to exhibit various colors okay color property understand yes then which groups are comes under d block from group 3 to 12 belongs to belongs to d block okay belongs to d block just remember one more time i am going to tell if the differentiating electron enters into d subshell you can also write here n minus 1 into d subshell Okay, differentiating electron enters into n minus 1 into d subshell are also known as penultimate shell. Penultimate shell here, its electronic configuration for d block elements general outer electronic configuration is n minus 1 into d 1 to 10 and n is 1 to 2. Okay, yes, here um, especially elements group 3 to 12 elements belongs to the d block elements. These are hard metals, hard metals and exhibits variable oxidation states because of their variable oxidation states they are going to exhibit colored property also okay colored property okay this is the general electronic configuration and where they are going to be located in between s and p block in the uh, after completion of this we will see one just rough diagram okay yes this is about a d block you can note it then we will move to uh, f block the next group is f block f block if you see f block located at placed are located placed at bottom of the periodic table bottom of the periodic table my dears okay bottom of the periodic table the differentiating electron the differentiating electron electron enters enters into n minus 2 into f subshell subshell or also known as anti anti penultimate shell anti penultimate shell okay anti penultimate shell yes next one general general outer electronic general outer electronic configuration is general outer electronic configuration is n minus 2 into f 1 to 14 n minus 2 into f 1 to 14 n minus 1 into d 0 to 1 and also ns2 this is the general electronic configuration for f block elements here especially two um, groups are there in uh, f block okay f block can be divided into two series okay two series those are those are lanthanoids and actinoids lanthanoids and actinoids understand lanthanoids and actinoids each series having each series having 14 elements 14 elements okay 14 elements yes okay a series having 14 elements the common oxidation state for the common 
ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट फॉर ऑल दीज एलिमेंट्स एलिमेंट्स इज प्लस थ्री प्लस थ्री ओके द कॉमन ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट फॉर ऑल दीज एलिमेंट्स इज प्लस थ्री वन मोर टाइम यू कैन सी एफ ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स एफ ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स प्लेस्ड बॉटम ऑफ द पीरियोडिक टेबल द जन आई मीन आउटर इलेक्ट्रॉन एंटर्स इन टू आर डिफरेंशिएटिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन एंटर्स इन टू एंटी पेनल्टीमेट शेल सी एंटी पेनल्टीमेट शेल ऑल्सो नोन एज द एन माइनस टू इन टू एफ ओके बॉटम ऑफ द पीरियोडिक टेबल देन एन माइनस टू इंटू एफ आर एंटी पेनल्टीमेट शेल जनरल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन इज एन माइनस टू इंटू एफ वन टू फोर्टीन एन माइनस वन इंटू डी जीरो टू वन एन एस टू इज द जनरल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन इट कैन बी डिवाइडेड इंटू टू सीरीज दोज आर लैंथनॉइड्स एंड एक्टेनॉइड्स ईच सीरीज हैविंग फोर्टीन एलिमेंट्स ईच सीरीज हैविंग फोर्टीन एलिमेंट्स एंड ऑल्सो द कॉमन ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट फॉर ऑल दीज एफ ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स इज प्लस थ्री ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट जेस यस यू कैन नोट ऑल दीज पॉइंट्स देन वी विल गो टू सी अबाउट रफ डायग्राम you can see rough diagram about periodic table this is s block just imagine this is p block and also not p block this that is d block this is the p block okay and the bottom of the periodic table is the f block okay yes you can see this is s block s block okay this is p block this is f block okay this is the d block along with those points you just uh, add this diagram also you will get more um, marks okay better score okay this is the s block this is the d block p block and the f block this is the left side of the periodic table left this is the right and this is the middle of the periodic table and this is the bottom of the periodic table yes this is about uh, how elements are going to be classified into blocks in the periodic table okay i i hope you are all understand about this class if you feel useful and informative please do subscribe share these videos to known people mention your words in comment box don't forget to like also okay uh, that's it for today we can see in, in the next class or we will meet in the next class till then bye students